All right, well, about a few moments ago, I actually saw something that was kind of like, hmm, thought-provoking. A friend of mine in the covenant I'm in said something regarding looking up the SCP Foundation, which stands for Secure, Secure, Contain, Protect, I think. And made me start thinking, has anybody actually in the occult actually talked about stuff like this? Well, looking at it from an occultist perspective, well, number one, the SCP beings, or I like to just call them fiends, because they are extremely chaotic and unpredictable. They are, they don't, they're not known and understood. They're all unique. There's not much known about them. There's a classification system, but each one is, has his own class type or however they deem fit. Well, to start, first thing to pop in my mind is that any SCP is a servitor, originally or a creation of somebody's mind and effort put into it and it became physical. That is why whenever you think of a servitor and it gets loose and on the loose, it goes chaotic unless it gets detained or controlled, which is something that takes a lot of work you gotta be careful because you never know what these things are going to do. I do know of there is one that I'm I'm in the know of. It's the witch doctor one. It's possible that can be an entity that can do as it was described in accounts. But at the core of it, if it's a supernatural fiend or a being. It was once a servitor, unless it was an interdimensional or from a different con different realm of existence, turning into a physical form. And really, just like with any other type of fiend or being, or divine, astral being, angelic, demonic presence, they all function the exact same. They all have the same way of existing and going about something. Some are a lot more powerful than the others. Some are more passive. Each one is a unique distinct personality, but at the core of it, when faced with anything astral, regardless if it's divine, angelic, demonic, fey, SCP, doesn't matter. They can, nothing can affect you unless if you let it affect you. Say, for example, that witch doctor fiend just popped right here in front of me. Hmm. A little out of your time frame, don't you think, sir? And it's noted that I can understand and communicate in whatever language it's spoken with. Ultimately, unless there's actually documentation and proof of it, I mean, I'm not really aware of it, like how, what it's supposed to be able to do <coughs> completely, but through an occultist perspective, keeping it somewhat simple, because an SCP is a supernatural being, just like a servitor. It kind of has a similarity with that. Well, if, if there's a servitor that's coming towards you, you can just pretty much acknowledge, say, hmm, you don't exist. And if you don't exist, you cannot do anything to me. Simple. But there are some other SCPs that I think there's one if you actually look at it, it kills you. Okay. The only thing, well, because sometimes things are fiction and sometimes you never know, to be quite honest. Because 
who is one to say that X isn't real, but this person over here experienced it and documented it? Who are you to tell this person who experienced this it's not real? See, it's kind of thought provoking. But at the core of it, if you're, say for example, if you're actually doing counter one because you never know what's going to happen, he's on the occult side. You never know. At the core, always think, okay, oh, there's an SCP, like the giant alligator one. Oh boy. Oh, he looks kind of um, out of his element. Is he just trying to crawl towards me and try and bite my foot? Hmm, the ground's shaking. Oh, I see it. No. Is using an alchemic mindset to completely disarm something. Or here comes Witch Doctor, about you know, just strangle me. Nah. No, nah, I don't see him. Hmm. Oh, that one. If you're quick with using an alchemic mindset, regardless if it's an SCP, any kind of astral being, if you're quick and on point, you can completely disarm it and bam, or as I like to call, bamboozle it. Oh, it's gonna try and like pin you. Oh no, it's just gonna just go face first instead. If you're strong enough in your mind and you're well, something that's trying to hold you and tain you. Okay, well, as long as it's holding me, well, it's going to make me get better. Instead of it holding me back, it's actually making me stronger and stronger and stronger. If you're really clever, that's how you can take anything that anyone throws at you and just completely slither your way out of it and then just make them look stupid. Same thing if someone curses you or if any of these things latch onto you. Hmm. I got a feeling that, uh, you know what, here's another one. There's other kinds of noted creepypasta fiends that exist. Like the once, oh my gosh, everybody was talking about this one. Slender Man all over the place. Oh god, faceless man with a red tie. Oh, I've seen enough hentai to see where these tentacles are going. <sighs> okay, well... Oh, he's trying. Oh, he's stalking me. Man, no, 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 no. He's just fangirling after me. Here, have an autograph. You know, Slenderman, if you're going to keep chasing me, you know, it's making me feel really important to you. Thank you for that. Makes me feel good. It's just all in a state of a mind. And if something's coming, to, if there's something on you negative, like that, for example, and it's just bringing you down, be all like, you know what? I kind of think that, you know, I feel kind of important being constantly harassed by a natural being. Hmm. Well, that was weird. It actually felt like it actually kind of like tried to hit me. Meh. Like, it was just a nice little head scratcher. I had an itch back there anyway. It's true though. If you're quick and if you're able to see something coming towards you or any kind of being whatsoever come towards you and trying to hinder you or negatively affect you, if you're quick, you can just do like, again, the ba like bamboozle it, or I'm trying to figure out a good way to put it. In a way, it's kind of like um, Aikido, which is a martial arts that rel relies on manipulating the joints. So say if, like, if an entity is coming at you to cause harm, then your Aikido would be to be like, eh, no, nah, not feeling it. Or... Fun, even more funny enough, if someone is like throwing it at you, you can even do judo. And actually, if they're trying to say like, "Oh, I hope the, like karma comes back at you" or anything along those lines, or even better yet, they send a monster at you, or a fiend, or a servitor of any kind, they they send it after you and be like, "Oh, well, here, let me help you with that. You want to go that way?" Actually, he comes charging towards me, and then he just gets flipped up behind me, and he whiffs. If it, if it really wants to come towards you, if it wants to come that way, well, let, him, let him have it. Sometimes the best thing to do is say, you know what? Instead of actually, you know, causing harm to you, here, let me help you. 
pretty much all in your mind. If there's, the, say, for example, I, even though I don't like calling the demonic forces or whatever the heck it's called, because I kind of, I'm someone who believes in an unorganized mindset, and that I acknowledge like all. I can't even put on. Camera keeps it reversed, and I cannot keep my hair going the right way. But when it comes to forces like the demon, demonic, well, beings like that, like how here's an example: Christian Lilith, and then the ancient Babylonian Lilith, or along anything else with the name Lilith. They're different beings, completely different, from my experience. There's the Lilith, that's the one that's like, okay, we're gonna just put those balloons away, please. I'm flattered, honey, but please no. No, not feeling it. Then there's the another Lilith that I encountered, which was actually more of a, a little bit more of the wanting to help improve and gain more power within self than besides just to go knockers. But I, I'm one of those that acknowledges all fates, all beings equally. Don't look up at and don't look down at. See on an equal playing field. Same thing with if these SCP things are real, and if there are entities that are just as capable as a natural being, see them, I just go towards them or interact with them the exact same way. Oh, oh, what's that? You're called the rig? Oh, you're gonna try and, you know, rig me to death? Okay, honey, calm down. Here, here, have a tampon. Calm down. Or you're gonna try and claw me? Not feeling it. Whoa, what kind of... goes on all fours? Well, hmm. Did the Grudge Girl show you that one too? Yeah. All about mindset. Or if somebody's like trying to spook you, it only will be able to spook you if you let it. If you just be not interested or just not impressed, just like, okay, well, you just look stupid trying to go, mm -hmm. okay, well, what, what, what do you want? What's your point? Come on. Yeah, I know you kicked the bucket and you're trying to, you know, come towards me in a way to make me intimidated. Well, what's the point? What are you trying to get at? Or are you trying to harm me? Oh, that's scared. How about you don't do that? See? If you're strong and confident in yourself, can't, can't really do much to you. <laughs> oh, you better do what I say. Or what? What are you going to do? Just stand there all ghastly? Got a point there. But even also another one that it's not really an SAP, but it's a creepy pasta fiend. Jeff the Killer. That's an obvious possibility of that being a servitor too. Oh, you're smiling. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you have a nice smile. I bet you do have a pretty smile. Um did, are you trying to be like the slip mouth Roman from Japan? Because you're doing it wrong. It's not just supposed to go curve like they're in a curve fashion like that. Not like that. It's like a slash like that. You get a tempo. Alright, and trying to stab me. No. It is a supernatural being. It can affect you if you don't let it. If you don't let it affect you, it's just going to sit there and go, How come I can't do what you think? Well, because I'm in control of what happens in my vicinity, and you cannot do anything because you don't exist. We're gonna try and swing at me now. You can't swing if you don't exist. Hmm? Everything occult based is all in the mind. You have a strong mind. Anything that comes at you, nope, don't want it. Well, I'm gonna have karma come after me now. Nah. Thank you though. Actually, you know what? Here, you can take it back instead. That is exactly how the karmic mindset thing is. 
Someone wishes you bad, be, be grateful for it. I'll thank you for considering me, but nah, I think you deserve it instead. It's just that. <laughs> it's really, it's just that simple. Anything that gets casted at you, regardless of what it is, even another person, whoop, just give it back to them. Like, oh, I'm flattered. No. Really, that's how you can negate stuff so easily. Hope you get damned to. I'm trying to think of a very horrible place. I'm really, really thankful that you're considering me to go down there, but actually, nah, I think you need to go instead. I mean, I appreciate you considering me, but nah, you need to go there. I have better things to do, but toodaloo. Just that simple. But, this is kind of a weird way to start pitching off, but. Hope this was somewhat informative. If there's any other questions, you can put them down below. And God forbid, don't even think about being like, well, you don't know. Or like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, you could take on uh, Jeff the Killer. Well, again, supernatural being, astral being, SCP is a servitor in a sense. Servitor is astral, comes toward you, doesn't exist. Gone like that. That's how simple it is.